sometimes all we need to do is to be still to do a lot many times we get carried away in activities we get carried away and we feel like it is by doing much that we achieve much sometimes it is by doing nothing that we achieve much normally i do content i do video content and i always plan time to take a break because i know that we all need to take a break and taking a break is very important. But I think for the past two weeks or so, I decided to go on a break. It wasn't planned. It was just me that I was like, come on, just go on a break. Deep within, I felt like I should go on a break. And usually I do plan it. And it usually takes longer than two weeks, right? So as I went on this break, and at that point, I was really on top of my game. Like I really had a lot of inspiration to talk about a lot of things. Not that... I went dry without things to say because sometimes we go on breaks because it's like we are running out of ideas. But I wasn't running out of ideas. And when I was on the break, I thought, okay, let me just take a week off. Then after a week, I still felt like I should still continue on the break. And on the second week, which was, I think, about last week, I started having this realization about being still. I know this mostly for people who have faith who are faith rooted in god in christ jesus right but even you're not a person of faith yet i say the word yet you can still listen and it will resonate with you i'm sure there are a lot of things you can pick from what i'm about to say right sometimes we get carried away in our activities and we feel like it is by doing much that we achieve much but sometimes we achieve much more by doing nothing because it is good to be still, to remain still and know that God is God. Because sometimes we feel like we need to do, like we are aiding God, so that he will meet us on the way as we are doing. Then he will, give a, he will reveal to us what we should be doing. And sometimes we feel like it is by doing that we live our best life that we achieve, right? But with God, sometimes we need to listen to him before we take the next step. And sometimes when we keep doing, we can get carried away in our activities that we begin to hear our own thoughts sometimes as the voice of God. Well, God is speaking, but we, we max out his own voice because we want to do what we want, right? And we believe that's living our best life. I'm a strong believer of living our, your best life in being productive and all that but sometimes our productivity is in being still and listening to god just like romans 12 2 we are meant to be transformed by the renewal of our minds and anything that gets transformed doesn't transform itself there's a transformer that has to transform it for it to get to the next level to get to the next thing that it is meant to be right like just like electricity electricity has a transformer and for the human God has designed us to, that this, his spirit within us will be our transformer. That's Christ in us is what transforms us. It's what leads us to transformation. And that transformation is living our best life. So if you want to live your best life, it has to be a life of transformation. And in transformation, you have to wait for the transformer to give you instructions on what you are meant to do to be transformed. So learn to be still and listen to God and know that God is God. It's good to do, but don't do without receiving. Because in John, we hear that when there was an argument, or let me say there was a contention between um, John baptizing and Jesus, and John's disciples came to John to tell him that the man you baptize is, is baptizing on the other side of the river, and more people are going to him. And John said something that a man can only receive when it is given to him by God. You can only do when you are being instructed by God. You can only be when you are being made by God. And that's my message for today. And even if you are a person, you are not a person of faith and you want this to work for you, I always say this. Like sometimes I tell people jokingly, I just say, try God, try Jesus. Like what's the worst that could happen? If you try him and you see that it's not it, you can still go back to what you are doing. What is the harm in trying? Only if you believe that Jesus is it and you are afraid that when you try him, you will be like him, right? And if you, are, if you are that afraid, it means the truth is that he's it. But if you believe that Jesus is not it, just try Jesus, right? And that's my message for today. Thank you and have a nice day. Peace.